Welcome back to another RC Worst video. Today we're talk taking a look at the MVP control panel series and once again specifically looking at the logo controller. Today we're going to talk about the timed dose mode that's available in this panel and the adjustable parameters that are specific to that particular mode. So the first thing that we'll take note of that's different from the other videos that we've done on the MVP series is we do have the terminal link that's installed here and this is something that you're going to see in any MVP panel that's operating in time dose mode. That is if the panel's operating correctly. Um, so we can also tell that right here time dose mode equals on. That was off in our last video. So let's take a look at some of those parameters and we get down to the bottom of the menu as we've discussed before. When you see the date and time then you simply press escape just once <laughs> and then uh, you're able to go into the programming and set parameters. Now here's where we get into the list of functions that are specific to time dose and then there's also a couple that are also available in demand dose. So the very first one we'll talk about is the high level alarm delay. The high level alarm delay is going to allow you to delay the amount of time between the alarm float becoming activated and the alarm actually sounding. The default is set to five minutes. You simply press OK to enter edit mode and you can travel left and right in edit mode here to adjust any one of these up or down. You can also change the uh, you can also change it from minutes to seconds to hours and so forth. So seconds is S, H is hours, and M is minutes. So this is a very useful feature to avoid nuisance tr uh, alarms in the instance where a time dose system can be allowed a little bit of time to catch up. It's a little more common to have on a time dose system your alarm delay be extended uh, to allow that system to actually catch up when it enters the override mode or the override timer settings and we'll talk about that in just a minute here. So we'll talk about the off timer for just a second here. The off time on these panels is how long the system stays off until it cycles the pump and by off time we're, we're counting down the minutes until we reach the minimum pump run time and then the pump cycles and then this clock starts over again. This one's adjustable like the other menus where you press OK to enter edit mode and you move left and right to adjust your minutes accordingly. You can change this from minutes to hours to seconds depending on the configuration that you need for your specific application. And uh, let's move right along to on time which you know works right right alongside the off time here. Uh, so on time would be your, your pump run time and this is going to be important to calculate exactly how much volume you're dosing for every dose. So depending on how much flow your pump is and how much you need to dose on each cycle, you're going to adjust this parameters just like you did the other ones. Press OK to edit, go over and adjust your time up or down. And again, you can also adjust minutes, hours, seconds, and that's pretty much the same with all of these. Um, another one that applies to the time dose is the override timer off time. And so let's talk just a little bit about what override timer means in an MVP panel. So the override timer is you're going to have a float that indicates when the system goes into override mode, and that essentially means the system is not keeping up in its standard mode. An override mode has what we can see here is a default um, off time of 30 minutes. So that's essentially half the amount of time of the default off time. So what that means is when the panel enters override mode, it's going to operate nearly twice as much essentially until it gets caught back up and we go back into our standard operation. So when your system's not keeping up, you're activating over, override mode and then you're able to go in and adjust these parameters accordingly. Once again, it's a time setting just like the last one. And then the override on time is how long the pump's going to run in override mode. And that's also adjustable. And then down here we've also got the minimum override time. This one actually controls once the override time has been activated, how long the panel stays in override mode until it defaults back to the standard operation. This one is also a time adjustment. 
In a time dose panel, the minimum over or minimum run time for the pump doesn't necessarily apply. And then the last and final parameter that can be adjusted that does apply to time dose mode is simply whether or not time dose mode is on or off. That is all the parameters that are in this panel specific to the time dose adjustments. So if you have any questions on those, please feel free to leave those in the comments below or reach out to our customer service team. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day.